In this video, we will be looking at the Alternatives page of 1000 Minds. Your alternatives are the different options that you're considering when making a decision. If you were looking to buy a house, then your alternatives would be the different houses you're looking at. Or if you want to prioritize patients for treatment in a hospital, then your alternatives would be the different patients. In this example, let's look at different cities to move to. So, our alternatives in this case are the different cities that we might be considering. We don't have to add any alternatives at this stage. If we want, we can make trade-offs without entering alternatives just to determine our preference values for each criterion. And then we can add alternatives later at the Ranked Alternatives step. This would be useful if our main objective were to create a decision-making framework, for example, in procurement, where the decision-making process needs to be laid out before going to tender, or patient prioritization in hospitals, where there needs to be a tool for prioritizing patients as they arise. To access the Alternatives page on the menu on the left, click on Alternatives. Maybe we don't like the name Alternatives, and we would prefer to call it something else. By clicking on this drop-down menu here, we can choose a different terminology. So instead of alternatives, we could call it candidates or options, but we want something even more precise. We can add our own terminology by clicking on custom term, and here we can type in the term that we want to use. Since we will be looking at a list of cities, let's call it cities. Once we click apply, the term alternatives would be updated to cities in all other areas of this decision, like we see here in the menu on the left. But let's just leave it as alternatives for now, just to avoid confusion. One of the cities we're thinking about moving to is New York City, the city where dreams come true. We can add this alternative by clicking Add Alternative and entering the name here. Here we can add a description for this alternative. Or an image to get a better sense of how this place looks. But both are optional. More importantly, we want to input how this alternative fits each of our criteria. So we fill out these fields based on how the public transportation system is in New York what the weather is like, how the nightlife is, and whether or not there's a beach. Because those are the things that we said matter to us on the criteria page. Because we also entered some costs and other considerations when specifying our criteria earlier, we see those here as well. So we put in the median rent and the cost of school, which unfortunately are both very expensive in New York. We could add a new alternative right away, but for now, let's just go back to view our list of alternatives. And here we see the alternative that we just added. If we do want to change the term alternatives to something else, we can do that on the right here in the drop down menu. Let's say we entered one of the fields incorrectly, or maybe the median rent increased in New York. So we'll update that field by clicking on it in the table. When we're ready to add a new alternative to this list, we can do so by clicking on New Alternative on the top left. Then enter the name of the new alternative and repeat the process. So here's our list of cities that we're thinking about moving to. To duplicate an item on the list, we can select the row and click on Copy. Or maybe we want to clear the entries in the criteria for one of our alternatives. So we'll select the row we want to clear and click Reset Data. Or we can even just delete the row completely by clicking on Delete. Now let's take a look at all of our possible alternatives. Here we're given all the combinations that could be possible with the criteria and the levels that we established. 
These are not necessarily any real alternatives, they just show us what could hypothetically be possible. And this could be a useful proxy if we didn't already have any real alternatives to find. From this list, we see that our ideal city to live in would be a city where public transportation is great, the weather is great, nightlife is excellent, and there's a beach. Because who doesn't love a beach? We are curious how such a city would compare to the rest of the cities that we're considering. So we'll add this hypothetical alternative from here to our alternatives list. And we can do that by checking the box next to that alternative and clicking copy to alternatives. Now we see the hypothetical alternative that we added right here. But it doesn't have a good name yet, so let's give it a fitting name. This list looks pretty good now, and we might want to use it in other applications. Let's add an ID or custom label for our alternatives, which can be useful when identifying an alternative, especially when importing or exporting the data for use in other applications. Now that we've done that, let's export the file into Excel by clicking on Export. Now that we have a list of alternatives, we can have fun analyzing it using 1000 Minds.